of the White House had lunch with the president. Mm. There were a lot of reporters How'd that were go? in the room. Some people were cheering about it, saying it was great. Other people, they had a meltdown about it. But there he is hugging the president, mm -hmm. wearing his Make America Great Again hat. Sitting <laughs> between Jim Brown and Monique Brown. You know, Kanye West was Kanye West yesterday. If you missed it, here's some of it. They tried to scare me to not wear this hat. But this hat, it gives me, it gives me power in a way. It was something about when I put this hat on, it made me feel like Superman. We really get caught up in the idea of racism over the idea of industry. We feel that stop and frisk uh, does not help the relationships in the city. That's uh, the number one thing that we're uh, having this conversation about. What about gun violence? Illegal guns is the problem. Not, not, not legal guns. We have the right to bear arms. You said, you said, I guess you know I love you. I don't want to put you in that spot. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm standing in that spot. I love this guy right here. Let me give this guy a hug. <laughs> I love this guy right here. And, uh, he said, be brave. And he was explaining, he went on to explain why he said that, that hat made him feel like Superman. He said he didn't grow up with a dad in the house. And he said, I love Hillary Clinton. I just don't relate to her, and I didn't relate to her message. But he looks at Donald Trump and he says, this, this president, I relate to his message. I didn't grow up with a dad in my house. I always wanted a man that would play ball with me and throw back and forth. Mm -hmm. And he said, I can relate to this guy, and I think he's doing a lot for our community and for our country. But uh, a couple of things. Uh, for people think he's setting policy with Kanye West, that's an oversimplification. No one ever said that. Here's a guy that just cares about his city, has a view of his country, likes the president, invited over to lunch. They weren't supposed to meet with the, uh, with the press, but the president... Wings thing says, yeah, I want to bring the press in. And Jim Brown is a guy who's not playing football at 29. He spent the next 50 years as an activist working in prison. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about criminal justice reform, you talk about, believe it or not, you talk about uh, a guy like Van Jones and Jared Kushner working together on the policy. Kanye West is not setting the policy. So people are acting like he's being used. No, he's supported the president in the past. The president invites him to the Oval Office. He's a, a music musical icon, right. along with a uh, a sports icon, but that's all it was. Well, it was very stream of consciousness, mm -hmm. and uh, he's got some interesting ideas. You know, he said uh, we should abandon the current uh, Air Force One. We should have uh, the hydrogen plane. He talked about Ford. He talked about all sorts of mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. keep, keep in mind, he was the uh, darling of the, and I know a number of people have said this, of the liberal left back in 2005 when he said George W. Bush didn't care about black people after Katrina. Well, now the left hates him because he's embracing the, a Republican president. A lot of people have said that in the last 12 hours or so, and a lot of people don't like the president sitting across the resolute day, desk with that man in the red cap. Listen. Wow. Okay, I'm doing this for everybody who's watching us to turn the volume down. If you can put it back up again. That but if you think you're bonkers. going to get that was an assault on our White House. Right, I thought that was really... Sad. Um, I think you had there a man who's clearly not okay and a president who's willing to exploit that. What I saw was a menstrual show today in front of all of these white people, mostly white people, embarrassing himself and embarrassing Americans, but mostly African Americans. Kanye's mother is rolling over in her grave. Well, I tell you, uh, one thing we did learn for sure yesterday is that Kanye West's iPhone code is zero 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 <laughs> it's six zeros right because uh, he he wanted to show a picture and he just tapped it in and <laughs> watch it. like he would later, that's all out there he would later go to an apple store and give a keynote address he did he was wearing a purple cap and a united states postal service jacket right and he then said, he talked for a while and then he said i'm going to ask for now well the media doesn't agree with him and so they think it's outrageous he's not conventional neither is our president he wasn't a politician. Kanye's a musician. He's extremely talented. He's made a lot of money in the music world and then gone on to, to invest in businesses and been very successful. Um, he's very real. He was very open. He wasn't, it wasn't conventional. And so the, the mainstream media, it looks like, is, is not enjoying that. But he talked about having, he was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, and then they said, no, it's not that. It's sleep deprivation. He talked about manufacturing. He talked about his business deals with Adidas. Um, ending stop and frisk. He said illegal guns are the problem because someone asked him about um, guns. Should we have more gun control? And he said it's illegal guns that are the problem, not the legal guns. We have the right to bear arms. All right. So Molly Hemingway tried to put it all in perspective last night. Listen. 
I think there is something in our culture where there's a lot of criticism of being a conservative, a ton of criticism for being a Trump supporter. But if you can withstand that criticism, there is something empowering about it. I think the reason why you're seeing so much negative reaction, you have a very prominent black celebrity aligning himself with the president. And there is something very threatening about that, not just in terms of celebrity, but also in race issues. And you're seeing a lot of polls where you have like, tons of Hispanics supporting Ted Cruz. Donald Trump himself got more black votes than Mitt Romney. There's something that people feel very nervous about uh, when people do not play the parts they're supposed to. Well, without a doubt, it is the number one story everybody's talking about. Did you see, and it's like, did you see the president with Kanye West mm -hmm. yesterday? Uh, yeah, well, we'll see what goes from here. The president did get more votes than Mitt Romney and John McCain, African-American votes, but it's still ridiculously low. It's under 20 percent. And there was a time in the 1960s where Republicans get between 30 and 50 percent. So if they actually were looking at a formula for success, maybe the African-American community is something they should legitimately try for. Maybe this is the ground line. So what do you think? Email us, friends at foxnews.com. Also, we're on Twitter. Usually. And Facebook. All right, let's hand it over to Jillian, who has some more headlines for us. That's Happy Friday. Right. Good Friday.